What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Tata Collector and this episode of Live Video Game Hunting is going to be awesome! We've got a lot of stuff to go over so be sure to stay tuned to the end of the recap where I go over everything and tell you a little bit more about how I came across these scores. I'm currently sitting at 665 subscribers so that's only 335 more to go before I hit the big 1000. I cannot wait and all of you already on the channel are fantastic and awesome. Gosh, y'all have been so good with your support, and I can't thank you enough. All right, we've got a lot of stuff to go over and some really good scores to show you. So you ready? Let's go! All right, folks, I'm meeting up with this guy right here for an epic PS2 score. Let's take a look. Games. Okay. Yeah, I'm the man. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Pretty good, man. How about leg feeling? <laughs> Let me grab that amp. Take a look at that if you want. Yeah. It is. Release the beast. S A. Okay, I looked up the wrong one. Forgive me. I looked up R E. Um, I got it from consumers. They installed a sound oh, yeah, system consumers. for me. Yeah, yeah. And what was you pushing with? Uh, one RE Audio 12. Okay. It bought. And I only had it for like three hours and then some idiot pulled out in front of me. And uh, so I followed the tow truck up to the tow, uh, tow yard yeah. and got my system out of it. And it's been sitting in my room ever since. Um, but I gave uh, right around 200 for it. They're high when you go buy them new, man. Yeah, they are. That's why I keep looking for them. You know.
what you're going to do is keep them until your collection brings a lot of money and sell them in. Yeah. Well, I've been a, a collector for a while. Um, before I got into video games, well, I, I was into video games when I was a kid. And, um, and then, I, like an idiot, I sold all my stuff. Then I started collecting Batman. And um, just recently got back into collecting video games again. I've been doing it heavy since January. I do it for YouTube as well. So you know this bad boy is going to work when I hook it up? Absolutely, it should. And if it doesn't, just give it back to me. <laughs> okay, so you were going to let me get this for that. Yeah. How about if I say keep your $10 that you're going to owe me? And give you 20 more. Does that work? Or... You want to give me? T you want me to give you that, and you want to give me 20. 20, and you keep your 10 that you going that you owe me. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so you still give me the 40, right? And then the memory you're gonna give me 50 for these, right? Okay. Okay. And then I'll give you 20 more, and you keep the 10 that you'd owe me. I mean, I know it's a lot less than you paid, but I mean, you're gonna let me get it for 40. Right. But. That, well, I'll be getting it for 30. That way, I'd have to give you 30. Yeah, to make it the same thing you're going to do. Pretty much. I'm yeah. confused. You get me? Right. Okay, and you're going to get that $50, right? Okay. Okay, so. You Keep your 10. What if I give you 30 more dollars and we call it even? So I give you 40, you give me 30. Yeah. Plus, plus. So I give you 10. So you just give me 10 as even? So I give you 10 in the amp. Okay, 10. You see what I, you see yeah, how yeah, that yeah, works out? Because if I'm giving you forty, same. I'm confused myself. If I'm giving you forty in the amp, you just give me ten and I yeah. Ample. And you're and gonna, think, you know, since it's a better name, it might have more power than that fifteen hundred watt. It's a good amp. Yeah, it might have. It more was power. a and good it's, amp. And it's mono too, mono block, just like I got in here. Yeah. But uh, it should it should have a little bit more power than that. And for some reason, like you said, if it didn't work, well, it should work. Um been hooking things up for years so All right, folks, meeting this lady for some games. Can we set them right here? Yeah, I said, I'll just, uh, um... I started looking through my collection mm -hmm. and I've got this game already. So it'd just be these four I'd be interested in. Okay. Awesome. All the manuals and stuff. The stuff that's been in the attic forever. Very clean. Alright, and you wanted five a piece? Yeah. Okay. Can do. We got 20 in here. money. There it is. All right, father peace. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why they bring it back. <laughs> no, it's fine. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. I appreciate it. We run across stuff like this. You want to give you a holler? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And I'll I'm, tell my son to keep an eye out for things. And I'm looking 
a lot for uh, older stuff like Super Nintendo, original Nintendo, mm -hmm. Game Boy, N64, Nintendo 64, okay. um, and GameCube. Mm -hmm. I, and I there, hardly I ever find. I don't know. I just I I don't. I'm going off for about two weeks, and um, I just didn't have really time to yeah. go through all of. The boys stuff. You That's fine. Yeah, That's absolutely. What they had. Well, if you come across any more, just let me know. Okay, I will. Thank you. Yep. I appreciate it. Jeff. Thank you. See you All right. Folks, uh, meeting this lady for some PlayStation One games. Let's take a look. Awesome, and you said it was going to be how much? 27. 27? Would you take 26? Yeah. Alright. Awesome, thank you. What are you looking for when you when you look on your phones? When you, like that, what are you looking for? I was asking that. I'm not, I'm videotaping. Oh, okay. I do this for YouTube. Oh, sweet. I don't have the name for that one. That's alright. These have the manual? Yeah. Sure. Um, I had a question. I knew when I was taking that. Awesome. Good deal. Yeah, I do a uh, live video game hunting on YouTube. Yeah, that's, that's pretty impressed by your collection. By my what? By your collection. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir.
Alright folks, I'm meeting up with this person to pick up some Pokemon games. Hello! <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you. These are the two that you want. And then there's those. So you might go as good. I told you this side is the two. Right. Okay. This one here. Yeah. I think it's military. Okay. That's just the other one. Well, game. there's 10 for you. Okay. I appreciate it. It's just a brain game. Yeah. You mess with your brain, help exercise. <laughs> yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're All right. Just picked up Pokemon White, Pokemon Pearl, some game without a case, and some brain game for 10 bucks. On to the next. All right, folks. We got a booth set up out here in front of Linden Bear. So let's take a look. How's it going? Hey. What's up? What y'all got out here? Uh, everything out here is making off. Yes. But the game systems are 30% off. What? The game systems are 30% off. Everything else is 50%. Holy bejesus. All right, let's get to digging. Go through them. There's like plantations here. Okay. So all of these are 50% off. Justin. Yeah. <laughs> there's more down there, but there's no room. I haven't seen you in there. David Sprague. Sprague. School. I remember, man. Friends with, with Andy Hayes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. How you been, man? <sighs> All right, so people, everything out here is 50% off. We yeah. are about to have a heyday. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put the phone down and uh, get to digging. What I tell you folks, what did I tell you? Was it not an awesome week? Wow, and you still haven't seen what I scored at that very last score, but I'm about to show you everything that I picked up. I got a bunch. PS1, PS2, and PS3. Some really good stuff. All right, we'll go ahead and dive in because it's gonna take a while. This is about 80 games worth of stuff and I'm gonna leave that last score to the very last. So you gotta watch all of it. All right, here we go. All right, so beginning of the week, picked up Cabela's Outdoor Adventures on the PS3, complete for four bucks. We got uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 Full Burst on the Xbox 360 for four bucks. It is missing manual. And could not pass this up. For 50 cents, Super Mario Brothers on the VHS. <laughs> Fantastic little addition to the collection right there. Anytime I see anything Mario, I'm definitely picking it up. All right. <laughs> and then this guy posted his PS2 and a ton of games on Facebook Marketplace. So I message him and we get a chit chatting. He gives me his phone number. Because the pictures that he has was really blurry. I couldn't make out any of the titles on the games. So he says, hey, just give me a call and I'll list them game for game. So as he's going through the games, I'm saying, yeah, I want that one. No, put that one aside. I don't want it. Yeah, I want that one. Yeah, I want that one. So here we go. I'm going to go over all these games. All right. I already picked this game up, Loose Disc, but now I've got it complete. And that would that is Fantasy Star Universe. Now, this guy could not, he had me confused about how we were gonna work out this deal. Initially, he told me $50 for everything that I'm about to show you. And um, he in the conversation said, Hey, do you happen to have any uh, audio equipment? And I said, Yeah, I've got sub, box, amp, speakers, head unit, all kinds of stuff. He's like, I'm looking for an amp. I said, well, I'll bring mine, and maybe we can just switch out my amp for all these games. Um, well, then he wanted, we ended up settling my amp plus $10 for everything that you see here. 
All right, then we got Draken, the at the Ancient Gates. And that's complete. He took really good care of his stuff, too. Most of it is... All but two games are complete. Mike Tyson Heavyweight Boxing. Complete. Street Fighter X3. Complete. Def Jam Vendetta. This one is missing the manual. And this one's missing the manual. Kingdom Hearts. No big deal there, though. Some room here. And we got Driver 3. Complete. Everything else is complete. The Godfather of the Game. The Thing. I don't even know how to pronounce this. I'm going to butcher it. But it's an Atlas title, and I love Atlas. Chorok? Choro Q? I don't know. Y'all let me know in the description how to pronounce this. That Atlas, though. All right. That's complete. Legacy of Kane Defiance. Awesome game here. Manhunt. Rockstar. All right, now we're going to get into the better titles, the uh, the money titles. Fallout Brotherhood of Steel goes for about 30 or more. Then we've got Volume 1, 2, and 3 of Dot Hack GU. We've got Rebirth, Complete, Reminisce, Complete. And Redemption. Complete. Cha-ching! Def Jam Fight for New York. Complete. Cha-ching! Xenosaga Episode 1. Episode 2. And that popped right out, didn't it? There we go. That's two disc. And this game is worth the most out of the entire lot. It goes for $70, $75, $80 or on up. Xeno Saga 3. The discs are mint. The manual is mint. This game was very well taken care of. All right. So that's everything that I picked up from him. All right. Moving right along. <laughs> What do we have here? Let's see. All right. At Lending Bear, picked up uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. This is the most I've paid for a game, game hunting. This was $15, but it still sells for $25 or more. So it wasn't a bad deal. Plus, I really wanted this game. But I picked up the last Naruto the Movie. Uh, Blu-ray DVD combo and this sells for about 15 to 17 dollars pre-owned on eBay So I went ahead and picked it up for two dollars and I'm gonna go ahead and flip it and get my money back uh, To pay for that And also picked up the descent. This is one of my favorite horror movies on blu-ray This is one of my favorite horror movies, and I picked it up on blu-ray uh, If you haven't seen this movie, <laughs> Check this out. This will creep you out. I'm going to start uh, getting into horror movies and superhero movies on Blu-ray if I can pick them up cheap. All right, then um, a couple of episodes back on the 15 mile long yard sale video, uh, the huge uh, PS3 haul in 15 mile long, um, I stopped at a thrift store and I talked to the owner, um, asked her if she had any video games. She didn't have any video games at the thrift store. However, she said, hey, I've got video games up in my attic. I'll look for them over the weekend and I'll give you a call and maybe we can meet up the following week. Fantastic. So I left my name and number and she pulled through. 
She uh, went into the attic and pulled out some games and said that she might have some more. Um, but we met up and I picked up Home Alone 2. I didn't have this one. She wanted five bucks each for these games. This game goes for about five or six bucks, so I wasn't, I wasn't sweating that one. Super Mario World. That's an easy flip. And we got the train in the background. Great. All right, then we got for five dollars Animal Crossing. It did have the inserts, um, but it is, it is missing the manual. No big deal there. And the uh, cha-ching, huh. pretty uncommon, pretty hard to come by uh, GameCube game. It is complete, and that is Chibi Robo for five bucks. This game goes for about sixty dollars or more. So that is a fantastic score on this game right here. If you can pick this up for cheap, definitely pick it up. All right. Then I showed you the picture of the PS1 games for $4. The picture was really blurry, but I was able to make out one title. Um, well, a couple of titles. When I zoomed into the picture on uh, OfferUp, this, this deal came from OfferUp, and obviously this lady did not know what she had. She said that these were her husband's games and he was just looking to get rid of them. And um, everything, she wanted $4 for everything except for Legend of Dragoon. She wanted $7 for this one because it had four discs. I was able to talk her down to six bucks because I literally only had a, a, a few 20s on me, a five and two ones. So I didn't have $27 even. But got Legend of Dragoon Greatest Hits. It is complete um, for six bucks. Then we got Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Um, it's complete. Pick this up for $4. Uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut. Complete. Dino Crisis. A game that goes for $30 or more, Dino Crisis 2, complete. And the breadwinner, the, oh my god, she obviously did not know what she had, <laughs> Clock Tower. This game goes for $100 or more, depending on condition. Uh, <laughs> picked it up for $4. The score! Heck yeah, and I've already had some offers saying, hey, uh, Let's trade. I got these games. Um, now that I think about it, it's pretty hard to come by a clock tower, especially for $4. So that's going in the collection. All right. Then the same guy that you saw in my last uh, live video game hunting episode last Sunday, where I got NCAA 14 from... Um, I picked these games up from. He uh, he listed some PS2 games, and I jumped on a couple of them just because I'll tell you why in a second. All right, so we got the Bible game. The reason I picked this one up is because I never see this game. Never see it. It was missing the manual, but that's okay. It's not worth a lot, but I just never come across it. So I went ahead and snatched it up. Now, the other two are sports tiles, and you're like, oh my gosh, why are you picking up sports tiles? Well, that's because both of these still sell for over $20. Why? NCAA Football 11 is the last year that PlayStation 2 released an NCAA title. In 2014, they quit the entire series altogether. You cannot find NCAA 15, 16, 17, or 18. Um, so NCAA Football 11... Um, is the last year that uh, NCAA football came out on the PS2. So it still holds value. Uh, sells for $20, $25. It is complete. Now, several episodes back when I went to Florida video game hunting, I actually came across the case and the manual for this game, but it had a different sports title inside of it, so it was missing the game. I ended up selling the case and manual 
on eBay for $12. Um, and the guy just gave it to me for free. So that was an easy flip there. And Madden 12. This is the last Madden on PS2. So it still sells for $20 or more. And it too was complete. The discs are mint. This kid took care of his stuff. So he wanted five dollars each. I thought that was a good deal. This goes for about five or six bucks, but five dollars each for these, when they both sell for over twenty dollars, that's a fantastic deal. I went ahead and snatched that up. All right, then I went back to Lending Bear and picked up Dark Siders Complete for three dollars. Hawks two. Complete for three dollars. Dark Souls 2, missing the manual for four bucks. And Warriors Orochi Ultimate. Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate for five bucks. And it's hard to say if this is complete anymore because Xbox One says, hey, we don't like manuals in our games anymore. I love manuals. Bring back manuals, Xbox. Bring back manuals, PS4. All right, so uh, then we had the Pokemon game pickup. This was on Let Go, and he had a few games. He wanted $5 each for them. I gave him $10 for all four of them. One of them didn't even have a casing around it, so there's no telling what that game is. Um, but we got Junior Brain Trainer. Now... I didn't pay $15, I didn't pay $20. I paid $10 for, for the three that I'm showing you, and I didn't, I'm not showing you the little game with no casing on it. But we got Junior Brain Trainer, Pokemon White, and Pokemon Pearl. Pokemon White still goes for 20 or more dollars. Pokemon Pearl, about 15 bucks, so that was a good deal there. All right, now, the pickup I have kept you in suspense for, um, for going on 15 minutes now on the recap. And I'm trying to reach around here and grab them. All right. So I picked up some PlayStation 1 games. These are all complete. We got Action Bass. Now, granted, everything was 50% off. All right, so... Two dollars, so that was a dollar. Big Bass Fishing, I picked up for a dollar. Saltwater Sport Fishing, I picked up for a dollar. Bowling, I picked up for a dollar. Need for Speed High Stakes, got it for a dollar. Driver Two, I got it for a dollar. And Pac Man World, I got it for a dollar. That still was about a twelve dollar game there. All right, so I got all of those for a dollar each. Now moving on to PS2. Now granted, I spent $48 total on all of this because everything was 50% off. We got the Sopranos, Road to Respect, got it for a dollar. Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legend, complete for a dollar. Full Spectrum Warrior 10 Hammers, complete for a dollar. Art of Fighting Anthology, disc only for a dollar. Rampage Total Destruction, missing the manual for a dollar. Barbarian for a dollar. Power Rangers Dino Thunder. For 50 cents. This actually had a, a dollar on it. So 50% off, 50 cents. And it had this map inside of it, which says Liberty City Liberty City area. So I'm assuming this is for Grand Theft Auto. Um, Liberty City. That's pretty cool. Find the GTA map in, inside of it. All right, then we got Blitz the League for a dollar, and it's complete. Wolverine's Revenge 
for a dollar complete. Soul Calibur 3 for a dollar complete. Shadow of the, Shadow of the Colossus for a dollar complete. On to uh, better titles, more expensive titles. Titles that go for 20 or more. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Some of these, uh, all of these are the better titles. But this goes for over 20 bucks. Armored Core 9 Breaker. Complete. For a dollar. Mobile Suit Gundam Federation vs. Zeon. Complete for a dollar. Dot hat dot hack infection part one. Got it for a dollar. It is missing the manual though. That sucks. Believe it or not, these still hold value, so always be on the lookout for this these titles, and that's your Buffy the Vampire Slayer titles. Uh Chaos Bleeds. Complete. Pick that up for a dollar. Rayman 2 Revolution, complete, for a dollar. Resident Evil 4, Black Label, complete, for a dollar. I have this disc only, and now I've got a complete, and I've got a Black Label, so even better. Dark Cloud, for a dollar. The Incredible Hulk, complete, for a dollar. And the last two on PlayStation 2, um, they were both complete. One of these I did not have the manual for, so I took the manual out of it, put it in mine. So now I'm missing the manual on. Champions of Norath. Got it for a dollar. And complete Champions Return to Arms for a dollar. And since I already have both of them, these are up for sale. All right, now moving on to PS3. And there's only a few PS3 titles that I got. And then we'll wrap this up. This is going to be a long episode. I told you there was a lot. We got Enemy Front. Complete for $1.50. Ratchet and Clank All for One. Complete for $2.50. Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare complete for 250. Armored Core 5 complete for $1.50. The Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena complete for 250. Leisure Suit Larry Box Office Bust complete for 250. Dark Souls complete for 250 and Afro Samurai complete even with the sleeve here for 250 there you have it folks about 80 titles fantastic scores all week long got some pretty hard to find games some rare games it was one heck of a week if you've enjoyed this content go ahead and leave a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet by all means, hit that subscribe button, and while you're at it, go ahead and hit that little bell icon. When you do, you're going to receive a notification every single time I upload new content. I do have these videos, these live video game hunting episodes. They come out every Sunday at 8 a.m. All right, folks. I had a fantastic week. I hope you did as well. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.